Good morning, everybody. I'm James Detroit. Thanks for joining with me. <clears throat> Did you see? Are you witnessing the sunrise this morning? I am fondly remembering being in the woods and the field. The stillness of this morning's sunrise, and it's yet to happen. We have a great deal of cloud cover coming in from the west. But that eastern skyline is as still, it is cold, it's about 20 degrees out, there's a heavy frost, and that sun, that, that embracing of the horizon, and it's, it's excitement almost is welcoming the sun to come up over that horizon, and I, I just, man, I'm just like, wow. I have missed seeing these things happen. I've forgotten about them. How about you? Is your day in and day out, are you missing out on the wonderful little things that God has created for us to be able to marvel at? I'm going to apologize for the edge that I had yesterday. I'm sorry. I, I'm not the person that is trying to disqualify or discourage people from being on my team. If you know me, and most of you that are subscribers do, I want everybody to come to the party. I want everybody to be able to experience the greatest life they can. It is, for such a time as this, is a phrase that is thrown out there often. I know it's in Proverbs, I know it's in Esther. And I was reading this morning and reminded that we serve the God who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will. That's Ephesians 1.11. As the experience of Esther shows, God uses people in fulfilling his purpose. No matter what the situation, God has his instruments of deliverance and victory. For such a time as this, God has at the ready brave committed obedient individuals who will stop who will step out in faith and accomplish his work i hope to be one of those i hope to be considered one of those people and i want you to be on my team so i need to be careful about the edge in which i speak sometimes that this battle this war that's been going on since the beginning of time. We need as many people on our team as possible. I need to be something that is appealing, enlightening, something that's making friends and influencing others. Because yesterday, to quote a movie and a little twist on it, my words were not worthy of a bared man from the scent of a woman. Well, I don't want to be worthy of a bared man. I want to be worthy of my Savior. And I want you to be on the same team. This war, and it's legitimate, is good versus evil. Wams, thank you so much for pointing that out many months ago in one of the early comments, good versus evil. I heard a prophecy this morning from a gentleman in the third week of October from a pulpit here in the United States. He had a vision and he encourages all of us in the United States to continue to pray. This is before the election. But he's, he had a prophet. He had a vision. He said, his prophecy is this. Anything can happen, no matter what happens on November 3rd. Because he, it had been impressed upon him. And the world is going to cry out. And be asking that everyone do the next right thing. That the election would not go the way the world would want it to go. Not, not the world leaders the people in the world. And he explained how for hundreds of years, we in America 
sent people out to Africa, to the Middle East, to Europe, to the Far East, to other parts of our own Western Hemisphere, sharing the good news, the truth. And now those people are coming back generations later and helping us to understand, to get our 2020 vision back. This country was created by God, ordained men to create this country, and we need to fight for it. We need to pray for our president. We need to pray for the people, the patriots that are standing up to fight for the integrity of a free and fair, legitimate, transparent election. Let's have a great day today. Our God is in control for a time such as this. I need to be the best teammate I can be. I want to be positive. We are on the winning team. I am James Detroit, and for now, I'm out.